guys and today we have the 2017 Camaro SS 1LE in 119 scale from Auto World and I had to get something special for you guys on this channel because this 1LE Camaro is a special piece so let me show you guys what this box looks like before I pull this car out the box so as you can see here this is the front this is the side of the box this is the other side of the box here with all the information on the car here and this is the top let me show you the guys the top here because i know some of you guys might want to see that right so this is the other side of the box and this is the underneath of the box here where you can see everything displayed on the car here guys so guys let's get this car out the box let's get this car out the box right now and show you guys what this car has to offer but guys let me tell you something if you guys can get your hands on one of these right now it will be a, a smart idea to purchase one of these because this car is a limited edition right as you can see here is a limited edition of 1002 cars so when these cars run out and everybody else buys them that's going to be it Unless somebody like me or somebody else is selling them, that's how you, the only way you're going to get your hands on one of these cars. And I'm not letting go of my one elite car, guys. <laughs> so let me tell you that right now. So we're going to get this thing out the box and show you guys this car. And as you can see here, guys, I never opened this car. So we're going to try to get this tape off. Let's try to get this off here and open this up. And show you guys what this one LE has to offer right so let me see if it's easier to pull it out from this side this car is pretty simple guys to pull out the box hold on one second so the box comes like this and let me see let me position the camera better for you guys so you guys can see this one thing I noticed about this, guys, is that this plastic has a number right on the side of it. This one has 236, so I don't know if that's the built number of this car, because if I look on the bottom here, it has another number saying 0981. So I'm not sure which one is the built number of this car. So I might have to Google that and find out. So let's continue with this. So we're going to take this off here take this off get this out and pull this car out like this guys so as simple as that and then you have all the other plastic on the side here so that's the car right there so let's see what we got here guys So what really is the Camaro SS 1LE, right? For people who doesn't know about Camaros, you might say that this is a, just a other Camaro. But guys, let me tell you something. This car is not your typical Camaro, right? This thing is a track monster, and I'll tell you why, right? 
if you guys look at the wheels you can see there's something special going on with this car right i i can't even think about putting any other rim on this car right this thing is like it's so matched and so perfect why would you put other wheels on this car right if you look at the front fascia you can see the the spoiler in the front you can see the spoiler in the back here and you want to know something funny guys i forgot i was even reviewing a 118 scale car that's to tell you how realistic this thing looks right so let's take a look around this car guys this is the car right here and this car actually says west virginia in the back ss1le that's that's pretty that's pretty weird guys i don't know if all of these have West Virginia in the back of it. <laughs> so maybe that's something special they, they, they put on to identify which car it is. I don't know, but we'll see. So if one of you guys has this car, can you please comment on, at, on the bottom and tell me if your car has the West Virginia plate on there too? That'll be helpful information for everybody else. So thank you guys for that. So let's go around this car and see what we got here, guys. So as you can see in the front, let me try to open up this hood. And these hoods are pretty hard to open up, guys, because it's not like some of the cars that I've seen, like one of my Porsches. I always say this in my videos. It has one. It has a button on the bottom here that you, you press and the, the hood just comes up. So the real life Camaro, guys, comes with a 6.2 liter engine. And as you can see here, guys, to open up this 118 scale car, you got to turn it over and then open it here because this, this car is so precise and so streamlined, it's going to be hard to just try to get your fingernail inside it. So just flip the car over and the hood will open, right? So the 2017 Camaro SS1 LE comes with a 6.2 liter V8 engine. And this engine, guys, this is the, the LT1 engine. And it comes with 455 horses, right? And it comes with 455 foot-pounds of torque. So this car is pretty fast, guys, right? If you guys are living on YouTube, you're going to say, oh, that's, that's not that much. But let me tell you guys, if you guys take a ride in this car, you're going to feel it. So be prepared when you put the throttle down on this car, right? So other thing with this car, guys, is that this car revs to 7,000 RPMs, but really and truly the car, it, it peaks at 6,000, right? But for some reason, they just give you that other 1,000 RPMs to just rev it out. But I hear a lot of people saying that, you know, unlike, like, let, let me say like, uh, like a GT3 Porsche or something like that, which revs up to 8,000 RPMs, you guys, let me tell you something. You really don't need that in this car because the gearing is so long in these cars. It feels like, you know, you're just revving up the car and that you, it feels like it's revving to 8,000 RPMs, right? Which is really, you know, like I said before, it only revs to uh, 7,000. So let's get away from the engine, guys, and let me take you guys around inside the interior of this 1LE Camaro, right? One thing with this car, guys, is that I was blown away about how detailed inside this car is, right? Compared to other cars that I reviewed, right? So if you really take a look inside here, you can see how clean it is. You can see that it has, you know, it has carpet on the bottom of this thing, guys. And you can see everything is just clean. It's not, it's not just put together, like just thrown together. They took their time and they, they detailed this thing, guys. If you look on the steering wheel over here, guys, you can see where it says Camaro. And then you see the SS on the bottom here. This, this thing is so detailed over here, guys. I can't even, I can't even believe it, right? You can see where on the, the dash here, you can see exactly, that's really exactly how the real Camaro looks, right? With the, the gauges and everything like that, right? It's really put together. They, they, they hit it on a nail with this car, guys. I just had to tell you, they hit it on a nail, right? So as you guys saw in the cinematic uh, footage that I put together, 
you saw the interior of this car, right? So let me go over here and give you guys a shot at the other side. So if you look at the, over here, you can see how detailed over here the seats are. You can see that the seats over here, it looks, it's, it looks real, guys. That thing looks real inside there, guys, if you guys really take a look at it, right? And that's the interior of this one LE. You can see over here it has the, the door sills. It says Camaro on that side. And over here, you can see how the doors look very realistic. Right, you can see the infotainment system over here. It's like the real thing, guys. See, it has carpet on this side, and they have the door sills saying Camaro on this side too. So, that's really the interior of this car. And to tell you one other thing about this car, guys, and not to keep get this this uh, video too lengthy, is that the paint is immaculate on this car. There's no there's no uh, orange peel. There's no, you know, defects with this car. Everything looks how it's supposed to, you know. With the metallic paint that they have on here, the car looks very nice, right? So I can't, I can't even, I would give this car, in my opinion, a 10, guys, to tell you the truth. So let's get back to the facts that makes this SS Camaro a 1LE. Right. So as I said before, guys, if you guys look at the hood over here, you can see that the hood is blacked out. But, you know, there might be some people who might black out the hood to make it look like a 1LE Camaro. But the thing that differentiates a regular Camaro and the 1LE Camaro is if you see these wheels, guys, you know, with these with this black hood, you can assume that this that car is a 1LE Camaro. Right. So other thing you could look out for is the one LE decals on the calipers over here. And you can see it on the rear over here too, right? And the one LE Camaro comes with 20 inch wheels all the way around. But the only difference between those 20 inch uh, wheels is that the front comes with 285s, right? 285 white tires with a 30 profile, right? And... The back comes with a 305 30 profile tire, right? And like I said before, it they're all 20s all around, right? So that's how you can tell the difference between the regular SS and the one LE Camaro. Another thing that makes this Camaro a one LE guys is that this car has a magnetic right control. And what that really does is that the magnetic right control reads the road to precisely adjust the dampers, which is the shocks, right? To, to get even better handling, right? So in reality, you know, some people might want to put callovers on this, but I would say just leave the shocks in there and just put a lower-end spring, right? Because these shocks are not cheap, right? So, and you can't get better with the, the, the shocks adjusting to the road conditions anyway, right? So I will just leave it like that, in my opinion. One other thing, guys, is on the back end of this car is that if you try to open the trunk, the trunk just closes back by itself because it feels like it has, it feels like the trunk is spring loaded, right? It feels like it has a spring inside there that keeps the, the trunk closed. So I don't know if you're type, the type of person who likes to display your model cars with everything open or just closed, but so you guys know that this trunk does not open at all. Everything else opens, the doors open, the, the hood opens, but this trunk, guys, is not gonna stay open. So it's just gonna stay like that. So that's your preference. So what are my final thoughts on this car, guys? I have to tell you guys, I was amazed at how, you know, how detailed this car is. You know, everything is streamlined, the gaps are right. I can see no flaws with this car at all, right? So I had to give this car a 10, right? They got everything down packed from the real car, guys. Because like I said, I went to that dealership and I checked out this car for myself. And looking at this model car, guys, it's it got everything on point. So if you guys could find one of these cars, guys, like I said before in the beginning of the video, 
try to get one of these before you know you can't get your hands on one of these because the way this car is guys i don't think anybody's gonna let go of their one le camaro right and like i said in the beginning of the video i'm not letting go of mine so don't even ask me to sell it to you <laughs> so that's my final thoughts on this car so if you guys are not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification button so you guys will not miss any content coming out of this channel because guys i have a lot more content coming your way and i have something special for you guys coming on the next video right so you guys can't miss that because this is the creme de la creme that i'm going to show you guys in that next video so don't miss out all right so guys thank you for clicking on the video and i'll see you on the next one